Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 155 of Let's Platinum Dungaromba 2, Goodbye Despair. Okay, so uh, since last time I was having a look at my tasks, I've actually uh, set everyone to get Jabba Crystals. The reason being is we're on day 47, and the next day, day 48, is the final day that you can actually use something like a collecting spirit. And since we only need two Jabba Crystals, I'm just going to put that, because there's no way I'm going to get seven shiny stones, seven magical powders, a Jabba diamond, uh, or a Jabba pearl. So I'm just going to put everyone there. Let's see how many Jabba crystals we can get. Uh, and that's it. Let's go. Here we go. Oh, look at that. I got 14. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. So this should be, it's one of the final times that I have to spend with Terra Terra. So Terra Terra, uh, you spend time together. Sorry, it's been, uh, it, I did the previous 14 episodes over two days, and this one I could. Uh, waited a little bit longer. Oh, I was like, what happened? <laughs> um, okay, so the last thing that we can give him is the Kokeshi Dynamo. Flip the switch on the bottom to set the doll shaking. Apparently it's a kid's toy, but I don't really get the point of it. Oh dear. <laughs> You're kidding, uh, right? Yep. <laughs> Yep. Okay, here we go. Jeez, the ingredients in this island supermarket are no good at all. It's concerning. They aren't even properly managing their freshness at, the, at all. Just a while ago, I even found an ingredient that had mold growing on it. I need to do something about it soon. What would you do, Hajime? What do you do with moldy ingredients? I seem to recall. You throw it away. <laughs> Kill it with fire. There's no other option but to throw it away, right? Hey. That's exactly right. If you want to cook a safe, tasty dish, that's the only way. Well done. Jeez, such disrespect towards ingredients. Looks pretty mad, I guess he's really serious about ingredients. Mm -hmm. Regardless, I guess it's understandable since this supermarket is on some rural island. Compared to the market in Aoyama that I always visit, this store is horrible. I don't really get it, but does it make that much of a difference? The end result usually looks tasty anyway. You're kidding, right? You poor thing. From the bottom of my heart, I feel so bad for you. Mm. You've never seen a sparkle released by quality ingredients. The countless miracles, Understand. the sexy shimmer of a fish's eye, the seductive shine of oil dripping from the meat's fat, fresh, ripe vegetables with their smooth limbs. Uh, just thinking about it makes my loins quiver. Isn't that bad for a cook? I really do miss my darling, tender ingredients. With my own hands, I want to reshape them as gorgeous and beautiful dishes. Mm -hmm. How about it? Are you getting turned on too? Uh... Instead of eating amazing dishes like that, I'd rather just eat normal food. That might be because of the current situation. Then, that's what I'll make for you the next time I feel like cooking for you. Huh? It's okay if I make an obviously cliched meat and potato stew with no fun flavors at all, right? I think it's a perfect dish for you, since you sort of like look like a potato yourself. <laughs> well, guess that's about it. Well, that all depends on if I feel like making it, so just wait patiently and look forward to it. I feel like he slipped in a snide comment about me just now, but a meat and potato stew made by the ultimate chef. I'm looking forward to seeing the end result. All right, cool. So I think all we need to do is hang out with him two more times. What were his things? It was something Kiss Note and Kokeshi Dynamo. <laughs> Passionate glasses. All right, awesome. Okay, so this is the last time we can do anything. So I'm going to make a collecting spirit and then I'm going to give one to... Uh, let's just give it to Hajime. We'll heal everyone. Oh, I have a hot pot already. Heal everyone. Okay, and that's it. It doesn't really matter what I get now, so I'm just literally going to do this. Rawr, more Jabba crystals. Well, 18. <laughs> okay, now I'll go meet with someone. I forgot to mention, I've been wanting to mention this a few times. This uh, version is actually a little different than school mode from the first game because you don't uh, because you have an extra character. Uh, Mukuro doesn't help you in the first game. It's uh, or only the 15 characters. Well, you could technically say um, it's Junko that doesn't help you, but um, yeah, Mukuro is not a part of the characters. Um, so this one, you actually get one extra character. You're kidding. Uh huh. Hey. Hajime, are you ready? Well, what is this all of a sudden? What do you mean, am I ready? Who cares? Just answer. Are you ready? What should I do? Uh, I think it's supposed to say, I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Damn. I think that was the wrong option. <laughs> First, I completely understand this far way of living. The life and cooking need adventure sometimes. Now that, can I hear your answer one more time? Okay, cool. So you can say, uh, just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would say that, Hajime. 
But but what am I ready for? Okay. Well, isn't it obvious? You're ready to eat my specially made dish. Why do I need to be ready to eat something? <laughs> well, you know what they say, right? When food is so tasty that it melts your mouth and tongue, try imagine it, imagining that realistically. Whoa! Oh, the horror! What are they saying? If something like that really happened, that dish would stop being food and become a weapon. <laughs> Oops! If we keep chatting about pointless things, my wonderful dish will get cold. Now then, here you go. With that, Terra Terra revealed the Tupperware container. Before he even opened it, a delicious smell that words can't describe flooded the area. Is this what we were talking about before? My most proud masterpiece. Versailles style meat and potato stew. Cue de boeuf. Cue de boeuf. It's a beef in a cue. <laughs> Go on, try some. The, the name makes me uneasy. It smells like an all meat and potato stew. I made up my mind as soon as I opened the Tupperware, I was scarfing it down faster than I could shovel it in. <laughs> it's delicious. It's extremely delicious. Steamy potatoes that fall apart so delicately, carrots seeping with such gen gentle flavor. Onions that had nearly melted, tender meat with the perfect amount of fat clinging to it. Everything had combined to perform to form such a perfect harmony, or such a perfect harmony. I've never eaten such a delicious stew in my whole life. No, did I? Somewhere? <laughs> well, obviously it's delicious. After all, I'm the one who made it. That that may be obvious, but it's not just delicious. This taste, how should I put it? It reminds me of something I forgot. You remind me of a song I don't remember. <laughs> um, after I quickly finished eating, Terra Terra silently stared at me for some reason. You, you sure say you, you sure say such interesting things. Mm. Yep, I think I have a general idea of what you like. So, what should I make you next time? Zodiac style boiled etouffee? Or no, how about Aztec style mackerel simmered in miso de poche? Though the names all sound suspicious, they seem like they're just regular home style meals. Could his cooking specialty really be? Okay, awesome. Almost there, almost there. Last one. It's her, it's her. And then technically we have a few more days to hang out, but uh, I'm gonna skip them. So make the robo rabbit. So yeah, you can see here. Even if I made the Robo Rabbit, which I did. Yeah! Got the trip tickets, four extras. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing how you made this. I'll give you this as a reward too. All right, so if you do everything, you get 200 mm. Monocoins. Monokuma dropped this when I beat him. I wonder if you can use it for something. I don't want it anyway, so here you go. Shouldn't you have said that before you gave me the journey? Everyone. Today is your day off. Okay, dismissed. All right, here we go. So go meet with someone. Go to Terra Terra and spend time together. Alright, and we do this, give him a present, and we're gonna give him the kiss note again. Nope, we're gonna give him Kokeshi Dynamo, which is. Where? There. <laughs> Last one. You're kidding! Yep, yep. What happened to him? He's strangely quiet. Looks like he's thinking about something. Mm -hmm. What's up? Why are you looking at me with such passion? Oh, I get it. You finally awakened. <laughs> then let's go right ahead and start planning our future together. Tonight. All through the night, of course. And in bed, obviously. <laughs> Why do you always do that? Mm. Well, that's just a little joke. I've actually been thinking a little. What you said about being reminded of something you forgot. <laughs> that meat and potato stew I made you? was actually my mom's recipe. Ah, that's probably it. It felt really nostalgic somehow. It was sort of like the taste of a mother's home-cooked meal. That's right, a pure nostalgic taste. For me, it's the taste of my mom's cooking. The flavors she'd always be cooking in the kitchen of our rundown country diner. Seeing you eat and enjoy it so much made me remember too why I started cooking. Hey. Just because a dish is gorgeous and uses first-rate ingredients doesn't mean everyone will like it. Tastes change depending on likes and dislikes, feelings and emotions, memories and perception. It depends on each person to determine what they believe is tasty. I didn't really want the sparkling city life of my stunning or my stunning success. I just I just wanted to cook for someone important to me. My cooking was just for the sake of making the person most important to me smile. Why did I forget something as important as this? 
But you remember, right? So all you have to do now is never forget that again. That's probably your dream or something, don't you think? Well, it's not like it's my place to say that. Hajime. I see. Just as I thought, I you're see. quite interesting. It'd be great if you let me thoroughly inspect you just once. I could gobble you up. Of course, I'd like to thoroughly inspect you while you're naked as the day you were born. <laughs> you're the same as ever, making such vulgar remarks. I know, to thank you for everything, I made something to make you happy. Try eating this. And Terra Terra took out a white rice ball. The glossy white rice perfectly matched my refreshed state of mind, which sharpened my appetite. Then I won't hold back. Thank you for the meal. Itadakimasu! I bit into it, and the sweetness of the rice spread throughout my mouth. It seemed unseasoned at first, but when I bit into it, I could tell it was slightly seasoned with something. Something different than what's normally used to bring out flavor. What in the world is this? It's no use. I can't stop stuffing this rice ball into my mouth. It's it's so good. It's just too good. Oishi. Well, guess that's about it. Well, obviously, I gave my all when I made it. Hmm. More importantly, how is it? Are you feeling it already? Are you starting to feel a little weird, or maybe you feel your core getting strangely warm? Hey, what is this season? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, <laughs> that's a trade secret. Ignoring that for now, I feel like I got to understand Terra Terra a little better. I can feel a strong bond, bond forming with Terra Terra. As long as we have this bond, I won't give up. That's what I think. Alright, here we go. That should give us a trophy as well. Terra Terra's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Mr. Congeniality. You just unlocked skill tasting. Give yourself a pat on the back. And this should give us another trophy, I think. You have obtained a present. Terra Terra's undergarments. Uh, maybe a little bit later. I think I'm still missing. No, no, I got it. For the Horde! <laughs> Spelled H-O-A-R-D. I desperately tried to keep my fading consciousness afloat and somehow managed to return to my cottage. Okay, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to press square here and I'm really quickly going to go through all the abilities abilities that you get. So Nagito's ability uh, is trance. Even low combos will increase the tempo effective during panic talk action. Okay, so maybe that skill wasn't that good, but I was ter terrible at, at that. I, I was terrible at that, so um, maybe it would have been useful. Biakia's is an interesting one because you can't actually get it on your first playthrough. When you find mono coins, you'll earn more than usual. So I don't know, maybe the you can only get mono coins from picking up the the um, Monokuma plushies. So I guess maybe you get like 15 or 20 or something like that coins instead. So yeah, really strange that you, obviously you can't get it because he's the first one to die. So you can only hang out with him twice in the uh, in the um, first playthrough. Gundam, we got it. Uh, Kazuichi's is, uh, yeah, we got his too. Terra Terra's is reduces an argument to three statements or less effective during the non-stop debate and the rebuttal showdown. So Terra Terra's is really good for um, like making the game easier um like if you have a hard time doing the first playthrough because obviously he's also quick to die um you can't get this on the first playthrough so if you if you were playing it you know really casually and you didn't you couldn't work it out actually no that wouldn't make any sense because you'd finish the game yeah i don't know really strange uh nekumaru's we uh yeah we got his uh fuhiko's silver spoon reduces damage to the influence gauge when you miss so not too bad actually like if you screw up which you will if you're playing on um mean difficulty um you won't take as much damage to your influence gauge uh akane's is peach muscle this is the one i just barely missed out on increases your truth bullet rate of fire so yeah nothing nothing too special cheat code the time limit doesn't decrease is even if you shoot a statement with the silencer so it's yeah it's okay it says it cannot be combined with infinity Un unlimited flame which increases the power of the silencer so that's strange but yeah so you have to use one or the other uh, i don't know what the point of that was um sonya has envious influence greatly increases the influence gauge effective during class trial cannot be combined with attentive influence not really any reason to get that because attentive influence is much easier to get uh hyoko has pivot turn erases all dummy panels that would actually be pretty cool on the that would like for speed runs and stuff that would be really good um that's the closing yeah the closing argument you know where hajime summarizes the case uh auto focus automatically targets the weak spot during concentration um i guess it means that like when all the different arguments are coming up as to which one you're supposed to choose if you hold r1 to concentrate the the 
you know, the reticle will go, yeah, that's that's the statement that you need to counter or whatever. So I'm not actually 100% sure about that one, but I think that's what it is. Mikan's is silent massage. The focus gauge recovers at a faster rate, effective during nonstop. That's pretty good. Um, quicker focus gauge recharge. Uh, Ibuki's is shred guitar, increases acceleration speed during the logic dive. So you can go even faster. <laughs> I can't even imagine how fast you could go through that. Another speed run kind of tech. And lightning flash, that's what she said, not lightning, whatever I said. Uh, all counterattacks will become raging, effective during rebuttal showdown. So I don't know what it means, but it basically, it like when you're doing the rebuttal showdown, which is the one with the swords, um, you can just get through like everything so much quicker. And Nekomara also helps with that, with the power of life, life and death, easier to push through an opponent's argument. All right, cool. So that's everything. And we got all the presents, as you can see here. At the end, it was literally just all the uh, undergarments. So one of everything, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's keep going. So now we're gonna go spend time alone. We're gonna do that once. Then we're gonna end up on day 50. We get another two days, like it becomes a holiday as well. Oh, maybe I did that really quick. Hang on a sec. I can't press it. Can I do this now? What did she say? She said, uh, everyone at last we've reached the final day of this school trip have you properly collected the hope fragments whether you cry or laugh time runs out tomorrow so live your last day here with no regrets okay cool so use time to myself use time to myself day 51 okay here we go oh I skipped new dialogue is there as well that's okay we can still get through it yeah we got we got time one second um she said Everyone, today is the last night of the school trip. You've all worked very hard these past 50 days. I, I'm very sad to think that we'll be saying goodbye tomorrow. Will we even be able to safely say goodbye to each other? Anyway, make sure you prepare for tomorrow and get plenty of rest. Good night. All right, here we go. That morning, Usami looked at each of our faces and nodded softly. Just by that, we immediately knew that the time had come. We had finally completed the 50 days and we were finally going to go home. I guess we should say goodbye to this island now. It's strange. Our time here felt a little too long and a little too short. Yep. Yeah, it was like a normal school trip. Hmm. Though, I don't think this can really be called normal. You serious? Huh? This isn't what a normal school trip is supposed to be like? Damn it! You tricked us. No wonder I thought it was so lame. <laughs> no, no, no! A normal school trip is even lamer. I can't do a voice. See. You're right. School trips don't normally abduct students and force them to survive on a tropical island. <laughs> Who cares about the details? I mean, it was super fun. <laughs> y you're right. I had a lot of fun, too. Hey! Why are you stealing my line? I was just about to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there. Don't cry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. Stop fighting. Come, look at my loins and be at peace. Yes. After all, ter Territorious Tenderloins can only be useful in situations like this. <sighs> Personally, I'm disappointed. I'm still here and you're all still here. Nobody died. Sheesh. You're still acting all depressed? You should just be honest and admit you had fun. This, too, must be the will of causality. <laughs> An ending with no missing parts. However, I guess this is just one ending of many. It looks like everyone had something they wanted to say. But right now, we all feel the same way. Our life here was just really fun. But fun was probably something we really needed right now. Hey. Hey, Hajime. Just what were the hope fragments anyway? You... What do you think we really obtained on this island? What did we really obtain here? It's probably... Alright, the answer is a bond, a bond, but let's do these for extra dialogue. Maybe the thing we obtained here was the joy of hard work? Man. Uh, you're right, we did do a lot of crazy work here. Oh, agreed. We used all our ingenuity to make many things. I feel like we could make uh, some serious money now. Huh? Then that was the hope? You're right, it's so hopeless to never work at all in your life and have no skills or experience. No, 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 no. But I feel like we already have specific skills that could, we could use to earn money. I see. Instead of work, it makes more sense if it's like a happiness that comes from working together. Hmm, you're right. It is a little different. If so, let's do treasure. <clears throat> um, treasure, maybe? Are you serious? Treasure? Hajime, when did you find buried gold? What are you saying? Hey, hey, treasure aside, buying hope with money is like nothing. But... There are times when money blinds you to hope. However... There are those who cannot see no matter how much wealth they possess. For all their success, they are alone. Like... 
And even if there's treasure or money, it doesn't mean anything if there's no food. You're right. I feel like that's actually a little different than hope. If so, a bond. It's definitely a bond, right? A connection between people. Something like that. <laughs> so you say the chain that links yourself is hope. But beyond that chain is someone else, a light that can shine on any darkness. The bonds between people contain hope? I see. If so, hope is easier and simpler than I thought. <laughs> Even if your life is filled with unforeseeable bad luck, as long as we have this bond, we're all better off. In these past several days, each and every one of us has obtained something. Before we came here, we all felt like we were alone in this world. We all felt like we could do anything on our own. But we didn't realize that that path only leads to despair. We were brought to this island, and as we look back, we realize that we weren't alone. As long as we hold someone's hand, despair wanes. If it's not possible with two people, do it with three. If that's not possible, then even more. And now, we stand here today without losing a single person. It looks like everyone was able to find their own hope. I'm glad. Everyone. Really. Huh? What? You sound like you're not part of this. You're included in that everyone you know. Honestly. You spent this time together with us. No matter what happens, that will never change. Ever. <laughs> That's right. Ah, we definitely gotta throw a reunion party soon. Um... A reunion party for a school trip? Wouldn't it be more like a launch party? I have never experienced either of those. We should definitely do both of them. Leave it to me. Then make sure you guys tell me what you'd like to eat. I'll make sure to cook it with gusto. <laughs> as long as it's edible, I'm fine with anything. Hey, hey, hey! Man, you guys are too hasty. <laughs> You're right. The first thing we need, we all need to do, is go back. Back to where we belong. That's right. We have to go back. We have to go back. To our daily lives filled with school, studying, exams, fights, walks, train rides, lectures and more. Together with everyone here. With renewed hope and maybe even a little despair, everyone is going to start their lives once again. Okay, we did it. Save. Alright, I want to soak up some sun. Alright, so we've completed island mode once. Now, here's the thing. We do need to complete it three more times and I was debating as to how to do this, but I think I've, I know how I'm going to do it and it shouldn't take too much longer. I'm going to say it'll probably take another like four-ish episodes, four or five. Um, so don't worry, it's not going to be too much longer. I was intending on showing the entire thing, but I think this time I'm just going to show like what I need to show in order to, to get through it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different as well in regards to how this first playthrough was, but um, and it's going to go much quicker. But uh, but yeah, we'll get through it, and I'll do my best. It's going to be require a lot of editing. So, but we are almost there. So hold on tight. We're about to finally finally finish. We are literally also just to mention we're literally one trophy away from obtaining the platinum for both games. Because remember, um, each game. Uh, sorry. There's only one platinum for across both games, so we're one trophy away. It's been like a year and seven months in the making, or probably more than that eventually when we get there, but yeah. Um, all right, but for now, I do want to thank you all for watching episode 155 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.